Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 19th. Okay, this is just a message from my guides to you. Okay, this is not sign specific, so it doesn't matter what sign you are, this reading may or may not be for you. The timing is fluid. That means it may not happen right on the 19th. It may, whatever. We're just going to see what comes up. We're going to start with one of these. See what happens. What do we got for the 19th? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what do we have for July 19th, 2019? Ooh, three of pentacles, recognition and reward. So somebody is about to be recognized for their hard work. There's a reward coming, right? The Three of Pentacles. Recognition and reward. So somebody is about to be recognized for their hard work. They could be getting a raise or, you know, a new title, a bonus. Whatever it is, we have somebody here that is being recognized, okay? Highly respected. So this is high respect. Somebody's hard work has paid off. That's what we got here. And they're about to be rewarded. And their reward could just be recognition. Recognition from their peers, recognition from their family, recognition from others, okay? That's some sort of communication as well, okay? Threes are about communication. Ooh, the devil reverse. This is taking back control. Being in control. Being in control of your own life. Letting go of an unhealthy situation. Somebody has broken free from something that was unhealthy. They've broken free. No longer tied. No longer bound. Four of Swords reversed. Empress reversed. Prince of Pentacles reversed. Nine of Cups. Okay. Nine of Cups upright. Now this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. You should be watching this on my channel. Um, nobody has any kind of authorization to share this as their own. This should be on Soul Source Tarot YouTube channel. Um, this is freedom. This is release. Now, this is a card of wish fulfillment. So, releasing is going to bring somebody a reward, or it has, okay? This is extreme happiness, this Nine of Cups. Overflowing abundance right here. This is a dead end, and this is a dead end. So, you know, I feel as though somebody has, an, has taken a new approach. They've changed their ways, or they've changed their ideas. They are no longer focused on a dead end, right? No longer focused on it. There's no more growth. Knight of Pent Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Wands reversed. Eight of Wands reversed. 
the universe, the world card reversed, the Eight of Pentacles upright, and the Knight of Swords upright. So this is rushing in a hurry. Somebody is leaving in a hurry. They're headed in a new direction. Somebody may, be, may definitely be getting a new job. Okay, some of you may be getting a new job. There's no more growth where you're at. Okay, some of you may be um, offered a new position. Okay, for some of you, you may be offered a new position that pays you better. Just saying. Um, this is putting the brakes on something. Eight of Wands reversed. Blocked. There could be some jealousy. There could be some, you could be dealing with some jealousy because of the status change. It's, it is, it's like there's a status change here. Now this is closure, the universe card reversed. This is lack of closure, okay? It's reversed. You know, it's unfinished business perhaps. Somebody may be uh, abruptly, the Knight of Swords, abruptly leaving something. They could be getting fired. Uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I, that could be the case. We have some fire here. So somebody could be getting fired, but there's a blessing that comes out of it. Okay? Just got to be honest with you. Somebody is just... Somebody's moving up. Somebody's moving up the ladder. Okay? Somebody is moving up the ladder. So somebody is either getting fired, there's a change in status, or they're, they're moving up the ladder. It could go either way. This is broken free. Broken free. So this is, I mean, this, this is definitely a status change. There's no growth left here. And so I think somebody's hard work Somebody's been working really, really hard, and, and it's all that I can see or feel is like they have climbed the ladder. Somebody has climbed the ladder. They're about to receive some sort of reward. Now, if this is getting fired, there's a blessing coming out of it. There is a blessing. The Nine of Cups is a blessing. Somebody may have been reluctant to start over someplace else. They may have been dealing with a jealous individual, okay? They may have been dealing with a jealous individual who, you know, didn't want them to succeed. Didn't want them to succeed. But it feels as though there's somebody else that... Well, somebody, some jealous individual didn't want somebody to succeed, but now... Now, there's some sort of new idea. There's some sort of new approach. Somebody may quit, okay? Somebody may quit. They may. To go find some place where they will be recognized and rewarded. Whatever. This is a change in, in career, a change in job. There's no more passion here. There's no more desire. Somebody could just, it could be, it's very sudden too. It is very sudden. I think there's a sudden departure. Whether it's a willful departure or not, <laughs> okay? There's a sudden status shift in the job, okay? In the career, in the whatever it is. And it has to do with a very jealous individual, okay? It does, that didn't want somebody to succeed could be could go so many different ways it could be another woman it could be somebody who is miserable it could it's definitely a jealous individual who is very selfish um could be even a wife for some of you if it, this isn't career this could be broken free from a toxic relationship it could go either way to go at could go be a career it could be a relationship somebody is breaking free from a toxic unhealthy situation where they weren't taken care of, whether this is your job or this is 
not taken care of or it was your relationship. This is broken free. It was a dead end. So somebody is about to experience a change in status. That is what I see. And it's going to happen suddenly where there's really no time for goodbye with this world reversed. There's no time for goodbye. It's sudden. It is. I'm going to go work someplace else where I'm valued, where I'm recognized, where I will be rewarded. So somebody is going to work with somebody else. And it is going to lead to happiness, this Nine of Cups, because somebody is has come up with this new idea. They've decided to take that approach and they've decided to do it. It's like there's no stopping now. The decision has been made. So there is some sort of very quick departure. I do not know who this reading is for, but it does lead to happiness and recognition and a much bigger reward. So I don't know who this is for, but there's a massive change here. There is. And it's sudden. It is sudden. Um, we're going to get one of these because I pulled out this deck to get one for today. And I'm going to read it. What do we have for the 19th? Dream a beautiful dream. And that makes sense with the Nine of Cups. Somebody is going someplace where they will be much more respected. The urge to create is the same within you as it is for the universal creator. It has also the same magical ability to draw harmony into being and to find beautiful order and chaos. This includes bringing harmony and the perfect balance of well-being into your body, mind, and emotions. And number three... We talked about it last night in the live is mind, body, and spirit union. So it does make sense. Um, this includes bringing harmony and the perfect balance of well being into your body, mind, and emotions. This is also the part of you that wants to dream of beauty and bring it to life in as many ways as possible. And how you eat, dress, look, behave, make love, create art, relate to your community. Write your poetry by moonlight or bathe by the candlelight. If you have come to believe that your love of beauty is superficial rather than a genuine, genuine expression of your heart's appreciation of symmetry, harmony, and grace, then you may block your ability to create harmony in your life. You may believe it to be an unworthy goal, yet beauty, genuine beauty rather than superficial glamour, flows from within. It is an expression of radiance within your heart and a love of life. If you have struggled with the obsessive attitude towards beauty that tends to prevail in the human culture, then it is time to look to nature instead. Her beauty is boundless, quirky, and, and endlessly diverse. If you feel blocked, thwarted, or contaminated by others in your quest to bring your beautiful dreams to life, you may feel that your heart is dulled, minimized or shut down small mindedness can limit beauty to a very narrow physical sense however you can shun the social disease of superficial narrow definitions of beauty thumb your nose at the airbrushed images and dare to love what is honoring nature is one example give yourself permission to feel and be beautiful in many ways you can feel harmony outside of what is supposed to be harmonious. If you are brave and wild enough, you can even find beauty and harmony amongst the chaos of change. Sensing that change is just the creative process kicking into gear, realizing there is nothing to fear brings even greater beauty, harmony, surrender, and grace to the experience of life creating itself in many more stunning forms through you. You are meant to dream of beauty and to create beauty in, in its far more holistic and creative definite definition. 
Beauty is meant to soothe the soul, inspire thoughts of love, devotion, and appreciation, and to balance the nervous system. These are healing effects, healing for the Creator and those that receive it. They are worthwhile. They are not meaningless, impractical, flippant, or trivial. A world without the beauty of art in all its various and unique interpre interpretations would be a less colorful, less vibrant, less cheeky, and less healing place to be. This oracle comes with a particular message for you. There is a situation in your life right now where you feel uncertain about your ability to fix or heal. You lack the inspiration to be able to imagine it differently than how it currently seems to be. You may therefore feel inhibited in your ability to bring about constructive change. However, the perfect beauty of this situation is not revealed by what you attempt to do to it or through trying to impro impose the right dream upon it. It is to be healed and perfected into all that it can be through the revelation of the beauty that is already lies with it, within it. This happens when we accept the existence of inner harmony in all of creation, even if it cannot be consciously observed, by expecting that there be beauty within a situation, even if it is hidden. You will be more open to seeing the healing potential, even in this challenge. Don't attempt to force the situation or issue to take the right, in parentheses, shape. Instead, ask it to show its beauty to you. This might apply to your body, to your relationship, to your finances, to your work situation, or a new creative project. From this place of inquiry, you will begin to grasp the creative genius of what is and unveil not only its potential beauty, but how perfect it is for you at this time, just as it is. You can overcome resistance and denial by approaching it with a curious mind, an open heart, and an open heart. By the way, this oracle has come to you because you have the power to be a positive influence in whatever situation holds the most meaning for you right now. And you need to know that. So anyway, there's about to be a status change and it may make you feel uneasy, but there's beauty within it. Good luck.